today. My name is Shani Saylor and I am the listing agent for this incredible property today. I am an agent with our Keller Williams City Office, which is here in the city of Detroit. We are thrilled to be the brokerage on record for the property. We are grateful for Citizens Robotics to bring this innovation to the city of Detroit. And we are grateful for you all to share this experience with us today. We do hope that as you all walk through, you recognize what has happened here and that you take this information and that you share. There are staff from Citizens Robotics and others that are here and available to answer questions. Please do ask. We hope that you all get a lot from this today. Thank you for being here. And as you walk through, you will smell the aroma of fresh baked cookies. Take it all in. We hope it brings a smile to your face. And I'll just add a tidbit that as a woman in construction, I'm thrilled to see this. As a Detroiter, as a native Detroiter, born and raised and still living, I am very happy and proud to see this. And as someone that just believes in the city, and of course, as a realtor, we're very proud to see this. Thank you all for being here today and may it be a great day. Hello, my name is Jeremy Potter. Uh, I live uh, nearby a couple blocks away and it so happens. I also work in housing and housing finance and I was attracted to this project partly because of my curiosity. I just kept coming by and watching the progress uh, as the house took shape and uh, connected with the team because this is such a massive challenge and problem that the team has taken on here. Housing and home ownership, as we know, uh, is one of the biggest and most complex challenges that we have. And how we introduce a foundation of new ways to bring housing supply to our neighborhood and our city, seeing new construction, seeing new types of home ownership opportunities for uh, anybody to be able to attain. I think a lot of times we hear all kinds of different stigmas around different types of housing uh, or housing finance. And so to see an opportunity where a group said, not only are we gonna put some new housing supply into the market, we're gonna challenge other innovators. We're gonna challenge others to come and bring their idea to market and bring their housing supply to our neighborhood and, and to our city. So I, I stopped by many times, obviously, enough to be here to say um, that it's just encouraging to see this in the neighborhood and it's encouraging for all of us to think, how do we challenge each other and how do we bring new housing opportunities, new housing build, manufacturing, new housing finance solutions uh, to actually incorporate Detroiters into equity and uh, generational wealth uh, that can follow uh, thanks to housing. So. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you uh, to Tom Evelyn and the team, and ex excuse me, excited uh, to see uh, this new opportunity and what might come based on the foundation and the challenge outlined here today. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Zach McDonald. Um, I am 16 years. I am 16 years of age, and I am a student at the School of Mary Grove. And where I am the captain of my robotics team and a mechanical lead. And I was attracted to this because it, it was nice to see a similar technology be in, in, in the construction of this house being used uh, where, I, where, I, like, where I spend most of my time. Yeah. And I'm really excited, uh, no, ecstatic to be here <laughs> for this event because it's very important. not what I was expecting from a 16 year old. All right. So uh, good afternoon all. Uh, actually, fair remarks, uh, but I will be brief because too many of my members are uh, close by. So uh, for all the folks who don't know me, I'm Jason Cole. I, I serve as the executive director of the Michigan Minority Contractors Association. What's up, Ron? Uh, and so I got to give a shout out to my people. And so uh, in that role for the last uh, 15, 16 years, uh, I have now created 19 associations to uplift my community, uh, and a lot of it is around uh, African American women, because I used to work for one, my mother's slightly famous. So um, in that, uh, one of the things we recently did as an organization was we just started, uh, one, the uh, Society for Construction Solutions, uh, and then now we've also gone a step further and created a, uh, trade, a trade school. Uh, called the Michigan Institute for Skilled Trades and Innovation Center. 
Uh, so we're gonna get fancy with it. You know, we'll do our core four, uh, but one of the pieces to the puzzle is innovative uh, approaches to construction. So uh, containers, um, 3D printed, uh, volumetric construction, we're gonna touch all of those pieces. But the reason I'm here today is because I mentor that young man now 17 years. Uh, he was an architect, now he can stamp drawings. Uh, so to see the arc of him, uh, and then in this actual project, working with both Tom, Evelyn, uh, making sure some money shows up. So it's good Jeremy's here. That's important, y'all. Uh, and so some of you know, I, I spent a great deal of time trying to find money for my community. So let me give you my quick remarks. Uh, this today is a monumentous occasion. He was ecstatic. I'm, I'm over the uh, moon. Uh, in the uh, lifespan of home building in Metro Detroit, this is unprecedented. Uh, and we are standing at the intersection of affordable housing and climate change, right? Because of the HERS rating of 45? 46. 46. Excuse me. Yeah, we hit 45, right? Which uh, saves, what, $120,000 over? Exactly what she said, right? It's a team that puts this together. Uh, and so uh, the fact that the team over at uh, Citizen Robotics has delivered this after five, six, seven, eight, four, just four years. Pay attention to Evelyn, four years. Getting this done, that's important. Uh, as Joe Biden would say, this is a BFD, I'm done. <laughs> My name is Barry Randolph and I'm the priest and pastor of Church of the Messiah. We're located on East Grand Boulevard in Lafayette. We do a lot for this community and neighborhood of Island View. Uh, we have built or rehabbed 213 units of housing. We own 49 vacant lots. Uh, we do a lot in the community with the internet provider. So just like you got Comcast, AT&T, you got Church of the Messiah. All we right. provide the internet just like they do, except our internet is free. Whoa. We do workforce development. We do uh, a lot with education. We have a business incubation center inside of the church. We have a doctor's office. We have a tea beverage company, clothing line, video production company. So when Tom came to me, because we're a staple of the community and neighborhood, and brought this idea, we have a community stakeholders meeting, and I said, come talk to the stakeholders. He got on the call, talked to the stakeholders, told us this crazy idea of what he wanted to do in the community and neighborhood. We believe a virgin had a baby, so why not? Let's make it possible. <laughs> so we're standing in front of something that is honest and truly a miracle. And I just want to say, we've been doing housing for 45 years. Our housing is right there, right across this field. That entire street, we own that whole street. So that street is Church of the Messiah, uh, where well, we do housing. And when he mentioned this idea of being innovative, doing housing with technology, uh, with innovation and creativity, we said, bring it on. And we're honest and truly pleased and ecstatic. I don't know if I can get more happy than <laughs> you are, but we are ecstatic that this is in the neighborhood of Island View, because this is where innovation, creativity, and the community come together. Thank you. Church is at 12 o'clock on Sunday. Hi, everyone. Everyone just made my job easy. I just have to wrap this thing up, right? I feel like you guys touched on everything we want to talk about today. Um, I'm Evelyn Woodman. I'm the co-founder and communications director of Citizen Robotics. Um, yeah, four years ago, my dad, Tom, and I decided we wanted to start a movement. Maybe not in so many words, okay? We knew we wanted to be a lever for change and have this automation, have robotics, have 3D printing be a lever for that change. But we didn't know what shape it needed to take yet. Um, and now we know it, it really does need to be a movement. Um, and that's what we're doing here today. Um, all these people, they're all part of our movement, right? We need to create a movement towards more sustainable housing, towards a new construction workforce with young people like Xavier. Um, like me, I guess. I'm, I'm young. I'm still young. Um, and yeah, we need um, an automated future of, of home building. That's what we're looking forward to. And with this home, we can see the real value that comes with uh, the method that we're trying out, this new thing that we're trying out. This home, as we mentioned, extremely energy efficient. It could save the homeowner uh, lots of money over the lifetime of their ownership of this home. Um, they would have fewer maintenance costs. Um, and it will pollute our earth less. I mean, that's what else can we ask for? 
we've learned that kids as young as nine, maybe some of them are here today, I'm not sure, but they're learning to 3D print uh, in school. People like Xavier, I mean, look how far Xavier has come. He's doing things that are way harder than what we just did with his house, honestly. Like, building a robot, that's crazy. <laughs> and one day he could print a home for himself. I mean, that would be awesome. Next door, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, and from this home forward, we can continue to innovate to reduce the total cost of home ownership beyond just upfront construction costs. How can we make a sustainable model of affordability for people to live in their homes? Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a challenge and we're ready to face that challenge. You guys are all here with us trying to help us solve this problem that's housing affordability. Um, and we can keep asking the difficult questions. Who do we build for? Who gets to build? How are we building? What are we building? Um, yeah, keep asking those, those hard questions and then we can get to a future of ho housing that we really believe in, where we can live in homes that we get to thrive in for our whole lifespans, whether we're with physical disabilities or not, whether we're young or old, and that's the future that I'm excited about. Um, so yeah, we hope you all join us in getting there. And people who have already joined us in getting here, I have to thank um, our team, congratulate our team. Um, I'm, yeah. I don't know how many other ways we can say we're excited. I'm thrilled, I'm over the moon, I'm ecstatic. Um, I also have to thank our sponsors. We would not be here today if it weren't for Mishta, who generously funded this project. Gardner White, you'll see once you go inside the home, has made it look real homey. They provided some staging for us. Um, Sherwin-Williams, uh, Advanced Plumbing and Heating, another local family-owned business they've been amazing to work with, uh, Titan Professionals, James J. Lehman Design and Construction, my stepdad. Uh, he also made this place look beautiful. Um, and Edeker, who's been a really energizing partner to have. Um, so all of you, yeah, you've all had a hand in the future of construction in Detroit, and we can't thank you enough. So yeah, uh, I hope you all enjoy the home. Uh, let's cut this ribbon, and yeah. Executive Director of Citizen Robotics. Thank you all for coming. Coming. I'd like to have uh, Brian Cook. Brian, if you would, could you please uh, cut the ribbon for us? Oh, oh, watch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What did I say about that? Only good luck. Don't hurt yourself with those scissors. All right. All right. All right. All right. One, two, three. coming so much. Uh, we're following uh, the ribbon cutting, so right now, with uh, a uh, community open house. So feel free to come in, check out the house, stay as long as you'd like. Well, not past 6.30. <laughs> There's snacks and water in the back. We were baking some fresh cookies, so enjoy, everyone.
Congrats, Tom. Hey, good to see you. What's up, man? Nothing much, man. Congratulations, man.